Hello again, everyone, and welcome to the fifth video in my CentOS series. In the previous video, I showed you guys how to edit files, and now I'm going to show you how to move them around. So let's go ahead and get started. So this should be a relatively quick video. There's a couple commands that I would like to show you. Now in the last video, we created several files in the home directory. And what I'm going to demonstrate is basically how to move them around. Now real quick, I did show in the last video that you can use the cat command and then a file name to view the contents of that file right there on the shell. So just keep that in mind. But what I'm going to do is show you guys how to move files. First of all, I'm going to create a new directory. So I'll do mkdir and then the directory name. I'll call mine notes. So now we have the notes directory right there. As a quick aside, I always do ls-l as a habit. I really don't have to do that though. That does give you a long listing, which is useful, but you could also do by default ll which does the exact same thing. So you could shorten your typing anytime you see me do ls-l with ll, that's a little bit easier. Anyway, I created the directory called notes. And again, not only do I have that directory right here, I have a bunch of text files. Right now, notes is empty, there's nothing in there. If I wanted to move a file into that directory, that's easy to do, I could do mv, short for move, space, and then a file name. So I'll do awesomefile.txt, and then you type where you would like that moved to, and I would like that moved into the notes directory. And the Linux shell is smart enough to know what a file is and what a directory is, so you don't have to specify that here. It knows notes is a directory, it knows that this is a file, so it knows you are trying to move this file into this directory. So if I press enter, we can see that that file is gone, and it is inside the notes directory right there. Another thing that we can do is MV space, and then we could type test and then asterisk, which means I'm going to move anything that starts with test. I'm gonna disregard anything after that though, which means it's going to catch test two and test five. So I don't have to type both file names individually. And I'm also going to move them into the notes directory. And sure enough, those files are gone and I'll go ahead and move the other one in there as well. Now we have cleaned up our home directory and uh, did a little bit of reorganization. Now inside the notes directory, we have those files. And another thing that I am going to show you how to do is to rename those files. Maybe I would like to add a file name extension to the test files. Now this is Linux, we don't need a file extension but it can be a helpful thing to some people to know what the file type actually is. So while it's not required, it's not a bad thing to have either. So I am going to rename those files. So what's interesting though is to do that, I will also use the move command. Now I'm not trying to move those files anywhere else. I just want to rename them. So if I rename or want to rename test2, I'll use mv space the file name I want to rename and then the new file name and then the new file name and it was moved. I'll do the same thing with the other. And there we go. Now another thing that we can do is copy files as well. Maybe I want to make a copy of the first file. I can use the cp command for that. I'll give it the file name that I want to make a copy of, and then I'll give it a new name. I'll just call it awesome copy. And now we have the original file as well as the copy. And we can see that awesome file contains this and awesome copy also contains that because you know, we did make a copy of that file. So it's just going to be the same file, but with a different name. Now I can cat my file.txt, another text file here. It just has the word typing in it. And what I can do is I can copy an existing file. So I will copy that to myfile.txt. That file already exists. 
That's the one I just showed you right here. I'll press enter and you could probably guess what's going to happen or what did happen. I made yet another copy of that awesome file and I overwrote myfile.txt with that file, which you can also do. Now I'm going to go back a directory here. And again, here we are in my home directory. Here are the directories that I have. And I'm going to make a copy of the notes directory. Maybe I want to make a backup of that or something. So I'll do cp notes and the copy I'll create, I'll call it notes.bak and I'll press enter, which is of course going to fail because it's going to omit directories by default. And it literally tells you right here what you should have done instead. It wants the dash R option, which is recursive. So if I press the up arrow to recall that command, I could do dash R and that's going to work. You can see I have notes and notes.back if I do an LS against those. They have the same contents because I duplicated the entire directory. Now I think I've already showed this, but if you want to remove a directory, we use the rm command, which is the same command we use to remove a file. But just like with the copy command, if I try to remove a directory, it's going to fail. And it's the same thing, we need to use dash r. And of course, be very careful with that because rm means remove, and you certainly don't want to remove something important but now the notes.bak file is gone. So there you go. That was a pretty quick video. Those commands are fairly easy. Again, we're going to get more complex as we go along, but those are important commands to know. So go ahead and practice those, and I will see you in the next video as soon as I have that uploaded.